Hey there, just a quick reminder, this is a recording of a stream I did on Twitch. If you like this and want more live content, come join the chat and the great community over on Twitch. I stream every week Monday, Friday and Sundays, or follow me on my socials for any changes or extra streams. Okay thanks, and here's the video. We're back in Pokemon Scarlet, and we are near the end of the star bases. We've got one Titan as well, so we've got two star bases and one Titan. That's our aim today. We completed the eight gyms last week. And there's one star base right in front of us. Um, just remembered I need to look something up very quickly. Oh, why are you on that screen? <laughs> Uh, right, okay, so what's our Pokemon looking like? Oh, that was it. We need to do some training. Now I remember. We need to be about level 50, I think, for the next base. Uh, it's the fairy base. Top of my head. Which. Steel. I think poison is good. So that's why we've got all these guys. So we need to do some training. We need to get them leveled up. Do I actually have any. Uh, XP candies? Not really, no. Uh, I could do a raid? Get some XP candy. Have a look around. I should probably improve my audio and filters, but I don't hear a difference anyway. Fair enough. I've been playing some Temtem recently. I saw Ed, I was lurking in one in the stream the other day. Is it like it looks good? I, I, yes, it, it's very Pokemon esque, but it looked very good. <laughs> and I am tempted. I'm taking an unpacking break. Because my back is sore. Oh. Oh, B. Take care of yourself. Please look after yourself. Should we go attack these bron this bronze ore? Um, mass outbreak. Yeah. Why not? Go on an adventure. But yeah, Temtem looks it looks really good. I am definitely adding that to my playlist. Can I? I can't climb yet. Oh, Fuck. Well, I guess we're not going up there then. All <laughs> uh, right, let's just defeat everything in this area. You? Nope. Level are you? Ah, you'd be able to beat these. No, oh, that's not giving us any experience. Uh, we shall battle the trainer. You set me desk again, so I'm pretty happy. If only my desk chair wasn't piled high with clothes and stuff. So, first stream when, B? When's, when's, when's the return of the B stream? Just so everyone is aware, please go check out B. What the? What? Where is he? Where's the little guy? Where is he? Oh, are you on the ceiling? No. Hmm? Oh yeah, you're. Oh, you're up there. I'm, I can't. I can get up there. I can get up there. 
Gotcha. Hey, did this shower thing work? Did the bot? Yeah, it did. Okay. When do we get more podcasts? It's been like four months. Ed. You can call me out like that. Um, the, the, the problem with the, the next episode of the podcast is um, my computer struggles editing uh, the seven video feeds. It's, it's struggling a little bit, so I have to do it in like short bursts and then um, something happens with the cache or something. And it just goes, ah, I can't, it, just, it, it just starts chugging and it, like, it's... It's about 80% done, put it that way. It's just that it's something is not quite right with the um, with Da Vinci and stuff like that. So I need to figure out a way of sorting that. I want to get through this episode and then sort figuring out why it's doing this. Um, so yeah, that's why. Mainly. The other main point is... Uh, Procrastinate everything. Uh, you're not gonna be. Do you turn? But yes, yeah, soon, soon. This, I was hoping to have it before Christmas, but then my computer was just not playing ball. And vroom vroom can do this. It is annoying, yeah. I, if I turn off, if I like um, hide one of the video feeds, it seems to get better. So if I hide them all, it seems to be okay for a little bit longer. But I have to keep turning them on and off, obviously, to see what's going on. Um, I've not had this with any other video, so I think it's just the oh Jesus, he got annihilated. Um, I think it's just the amount of video. Brian, come on, Brian. I believe in you, Brian. I probably need to look at your uh, move set, Brian. Your move set. Not be optimum. Wow. <laughs> Podcast sometime in 2023, yep. Pretty much. What am I struggling with? Uh, just the amount of video feeds in the in the next podcast. It was okay with six, I think seven pushed it too far. Like when I was doing the other one, six seemed fine. Uh, but then also... I recorded all the video for the first two, didn't I? So there was only one video feed, actually. So now we've added six more. Yeah, no, it's not It's not happy. That, that's the main issue. <laughs> But hey, there, there will be a podcast, and it will it will come out. And we'll ignore the fact that we recorded it over a year ago now. Yes. There we go. Let's annihilate all these guys. Have I tried other software? Um, you want to buy me other software, Trickster? It's quite a bit more taxing for the PC, yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't. My PC is pretty decent. I got a uh, Ryzen seven thirty. Oh god, I can't remember what my CPU is. It's the three something series. 
So, you know, it's last gen, but it's still pretty decent. 32 gigs of RAM and a 2070 Super. At least you'd think it'd be alright. It's the CPU mainly that's the issue. Blender's free. I think I have Blender. Oh god, Vroom's not getting any experience. I forgot to heal him. God damn it. All that was wasted. Wasted. Anything can be free. <laughs> free if you steal it. I mean, yes, but you pay a moral price there, don't you? No, I really like Da Vinci, and I've learnt Da Vinci very well. I I think it's mainly my CPU plus the caching settings um, that are the issue. I, I've, I've been slowly doing it, so it's, it's not like a massive issue, it's just slow going. And then I get to a point like I've done maybe... Uh, let's say 20 minutes of the episode and it's starting to choke and I'm like, well, that'll do for today and then I, I stop for the day. <laughs> and that's just my brain. That's, that is literally just my brain. I use Primary Pro and I find it very hard to use anything else now. Oh, okay. I've never tried Primary Pro. Back in the day, I had the, uh, oh, whatever, the Mac version, then the Apple editing software is, and I can't remember what it is. Um, iMovie, yeah. That was half decent. Came with the Mac, though. But, oh god, oh, cutscene, oh no. I got too close, guys. I will return later. Time for young master's piano lesson. Until then, please give him my regards. Oh god. Did I accidentally stumble into a battle? I can't remember if I battled this guy. And who might you be, young man? A friend of young master, perhaps? Uh, young master. I see. Since you're unaware, I must inform you that this is the basis of Team Star's fairy crew. Led by Ortega. Don't think we're supposed to give up that information. Yeah, you just like, oh yeah, this, this is the headquarters of the criminal organization. Yes. <laughs> I'm the piano teacher, you see. <laughs> Do you have any idea who this young man might be? He might be the one trying to take us on. Dun dun dun. I am the enemy. I am the evil villain in this story. Well, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Would you be kind to indulge me in a quick battle? No! You must, you must need to prepare. Wait until you have a fast night. Thank fuck I can say no. <laughs> Let's go do more battling. When do we get a Pokemon spin off game where we can play as Team Rocket? No catching, no st only stealing Pokemon from people. I know. Kill this one, he's running away. He's running away! Kill him quick! There is no escape. No.
Nope. I will defeat you. Oh, God. Oh, I need to give I need to give you a um, um dark move, don't I? Clearly. Confusion. Crunch. Morning sun. Wow. It's doing all of the moves. Yet it not attacking once. You fool! Uh, let's, I'm gonna put a room up front and have a chat with this person. Maybe working at Pokemon Center near here would be more fun than my current job. Uh, standing in a field. Office worker! Where the fuck's the office? You are so far away from the office. Iron Head. It's on a lunch break. I mean, oh, I suppose Pokemon can fly you anyway, really. Uh, do, do, do. Sludge. Do a sludge. High jump kick. Oof. Oh. That? What is going on? He hurt himself and then no one attacked. Attack and defense switched. Okay. That may have been a mistake for you. Nice. Gotta go heal my Pokemon! Yeah, you do. Kill it! No, kill, kill. I love how fast this one is. He's so speedy. Kill them all! It's a massacre. Where the fuck's it going? <laughs> oh. Oh, he did get that. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Come on. Kill them all. Kill them all. Come back, come back, come back. You get away from these damn butterflies. Nice.
<laughs> it randomly flies off at some point. It's gone. I don't even know where he is now. There he is! <laughs> Alright, come back. Let's heal you. Do a heal. Off we go again. Oh. Oh. Power of music can bring joy to the world. It certainly can. Interesting, interesting. Um, have an iron head. Oh, you bitch. See if we can get some poison on the go. Oh, will you stop attacking me? Attack. Yes. Not very effective, took half my health. My fucking god. Oh, he's fallen in love. I don't even know what that means. Can't remember what that means. Just do one more, come on. Oh! Oh, Broom died. That's a annoying because I need the experience. Don't die. Oh no, that means I don't get any experience. I only get the second hand stuff. Oh, that's annoying. Oh. Brian, come on, I, I need you, Brian. As soon as they yawn, he wouldn't be asleep right now. Get the yawn on the girl. Giga impact! Fuck me. Annihilated. Well, two can play that game. Bonk hammer. Saving the day. Put the hammer down. Yes, go in first. Fuck you. Well. Oh, another one. A grumpy. Uh, no. Go on, Bonk Hammer. You're, you're saving this run. Brutal swing. Yes! Quick Claw again! Him. Nice.
But I went to the power of music. Oh god, the game is chugging. Oof, don't know what happened there. Something just spawned in a lot. A lot of these tiny little flower Pokemon in this area. But it was such a stable game before. <laughs> yeah, it has. Okay, it has its frame rate issues and all that stuff. But it, it's not it's not bad. They shouldn't have released it. I agree. They shouldn't have released it. And they should have fixed all these issues before releasing it. There was no need to release it so soon. There was no rush. They could have sorted all this stuff out. And there's a lot of like certain like basic features missing. Like the Pokedex for one thing. Let's look at the Pokedex. I can't search it. For one. I can't... I can, I can only search through it by doing this one by one. I can't like even page through it. With anything. The whole... This like map of where you, where to find things. I can't zoom in on it. In any way. There's no way of overlaying that on the existing map. It's like you can't mass release the uh, from the boxes. The boxes themselves take ages to load. Right, if I change, like, look, look, why is it loading them in like this? I just came from this page. Why is it doing this? There's so many issues, basic issues. And if they'd taken six months, they could have probably fixed it, but they ha have their stupid uh, release process, don't they? <laughs> we should have Rockstar Games make the next one. <laughs> More crime. I mean, Rockstar, uh, you know, they're taking forever for GTA 6, right? Uh, well, it could be a um, Saints Row sort of thing where it's just completely ridiculous as well because I think the element of Pokemon in a crime centric game would make it ridiculous because Pokemon can teleport Pokemon can go invisible Pokemon can basically make you a superhuman crime box Giovanni's shit really is a 10 year old defeated him anyway I'm going to obliterate this flower Thank you! <laughs> oh, thank you for subbing at tier 1! D Toma 5. D Thomas, thank you. Well, enjoy your uh, emotes. Welcome to the. I don't know if we have, we have a name for this community yet. Coffee Club. Caffeine Club. I'm going to say Caffeine Club. I've got it in there, but I don't. I, I made it up myself. Yes, thank, thank you, Thomas. Um, why did the flower not die? Kill the flower. But yeah, Saints Row, I think, is more is a is a better approach to the uh, the crime-ridden Pokemon game than um, GTA because Saints Row is so extremely ridiculous now. Like they literally have superhumans and mutants and things like that. But I think it would be pulled off quite well. You have a name idea, but you're not to say it. Is it the C word? Joe, is it the C word? Brew Boys. Oh. Not a bad one. I'm gonna run from this and just do a quick battle. Can you. Thank you. And sit here and let him level up a little bit. A little bit more leveling up, and then we should be uh, should be good for the old the the attack.
Yes, that's what I was thinking too, Ed. Would you be uh, proud to say you're one of those, Joe? The beaner is... Sounds wrong. That sounds wrong, B. <laughs> I wouldn't understand. <laughs> God, I'm being swarmed by Pokemon. Save me! Kill the sunflower. There we go. Ooh, Lucky got a new, uh... We should check the mood because it doesn't do the whole. Uh, no. Do the whole. They've learned to move thing when you're doing quick battles. Remember moves. Uh, you got poison jab. Poison jab is an 80. Gyro ball is. Hmm. Yeah, let's do... let's see if Poison Jab's better than... I can't remember if it's better than Sludge. Oh, it is better than Sludge. Hell yes. Uh, you learned something new, so let's see. Charm! Nah, we're good. Um, Brian. Brian needs some new moves. Toxic is... Ooh, he gets Mega Horn. Using its tough and impressive horn, the user rams into the target with no let up. Sludge Wave is 95. Wave is going in there. Um, I'm thinking Mega Horn and get rid of uh, Slam. And. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does he not have another ground attack? Oh, he did. Oh, maybe not. Do I have another ground attack I can teach him? Not right now. I've got a mega horn already. Oh, Ed. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Uh, Banksy. I haven't checked Banksy's moves, have I? Knock off. Poison Fang is 50. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Should we do a... Uh... Standard battle, see if anyone wants to evolve or anything like that. How's about Iron Head, bitch? I feel like some of the newest Pokemon look more like Digimon. I think that was always the case. They've really gone a bit weird in the past few gens. Misty Terrain. Hard 
keep up with the original ones, I guess, at this point. Yep. It's like they they come up with a gimmick for each, um, or two or three gimmicks, I guess, for each gen, and then they just let's just do Pokemon around that. So one of the gimmicks in this one is vehicles. So you've got bike Pokemon, and you've got engine Pokemon, um, and things like that. Another gimmick is hats. Hats are in this one. Because of the terrestrialization, um, there's a lot of hats going on. Let's attack the jump buff. Oof. Um, so you'll notice a lot of the new Pokemon seem to have things on their head a little bit. But I don't know if that's intentional. And then there's the future past stuff, which is just the, the, it's the post-game story, if anything. The whole like difference between the two versions is entirely post-game. It's so weird. It's like, oh yeah, do the gym stuff and all the other stuff, and then we'll talk about why there's a future and past version. Okay, why? Could have introduced that a little bit sooner. Alright, here we go. We evolving? <gasps> I knew he would. Hey, our one cylinder engine just turned into a uh, V6? Nice. He wants to learn Shift Gear. I think that's a, his signature move. Shift Gear, what do you do? You use it rotates its gears, boosts its attack stat and sharply its speed stat. That is amazing, I really should do that. Um... Ooh, I could get rid of Screech. Screech is so good though. It's, it's a double reduction. No. Shift gear is better. Getting the double. I need. I might need a new monitor. I forgot mine has a quirk. Oh no! What's the quirk be? I don't know how stupid all the professors were in Gen One, not having noticed the other four hundred or something Pokemon hanging around. Ed, Ed! Oh my God! There's lore behind this, Ed. It's fine. One that was. Where technically 20 years ago. Um, and two, uh, uh, multiverses. All multiverse. Basically, there's five, five multiverses. There's the Gen 1, Gen 2 multiverse. There's the... Um, I think Gen 3... Gen, Gen 4 and the remake, so... Oh god, I can never remember. But the multiverse is basically... Some of them are running in parallel, um, the timeline, some of them never actually affect each other. Um, there's time travel, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a nightmare, but basically... It, it makes sense in a very convoluted way. The power cable needs to be at a certain angle or it won't stay on. Is it the power cable is faulty or the connection? Like in, in the monitor. Because you can get uh, like a cheap cable, which might fix it. So the quirk is at times it just, it just doesn't want to, to monitor. It's, it's just, I'm not a monitor right now, I am a black screen. How are we doing? Level 43? He's not far off, he's not far off. Is 
Level 50. Do you reckon I can defeat this? Oh, oh god. Oh, it's... No. It's put on a hat. Uh, I'm gonna do a shift gear. Holy moly. Oh, yes. Go on, break it. Pow. Obliterated me. How are we doing on uh, level? Right, so these two are probably okay. Level 50 is where we're aiming, but we've got these two which are just going to absolutely obliterate them, to be fair. So, I think it's time. I think it's time. It is time. I don't know who to send in first. Who do we send in first? Might as well get some experience while going back to the Pokemon Center. Maybe Brian. I think Brian might be a good one to send up first. Oh, you don't like that. Okay. Uh, uh. Should we do Brian? Oh, oh god, I didn't even see you. Hello. Have a iron head. Thank you, bye bye. Come on, defeat all these guys. The game's chugging. Oh, it's chugging. Oh, look at the frames. Did not like that at all. Alright, let's go defeat the piano teacher first. And then, and then we'll attack the base. We have a good, um, good amount of Pokemon now for the Elite Four. We have a good spectrum, I think. Hey, it won't let me go any farther. No. What the? What the? What? <laughs> Quick battle! Yes, let's do it. Pokemon trainer Harrington. Oh, interesting, interesting. Let's try an iron head strip of that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, 
about to send in a Hatrum. And uh, we'll keep we'll keep Vroom Vroom out. Do like the music in this game. Vroom Vroom. Did that not oh. oh. Assurance. Oh. And I'll do. Wow, that was hard. Maybe you should have more than two Pokemon. Well, well. Outstanding performance. However, be aware that young Master Odega's battle of prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. We do well to take care. No, if you'll excuse me. Okay, bye. That gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. At least that's what I heard. Oh, he's like tutoring the boss or something. Interesting. So he's the one who got it all wrong. As we find out a little bit later. I wonder if it's a terrible optimization or the aging switch hardware that's the limiting factor of the frames. Um, I mean, the aging switch hard uh, hardware isn't. I mean, I got an original switch, so it's not. don't know because you can you can compare it against other games that don't have this issue so much more done with the switch with so few of issues yeah but I don't know I don't know Textures aren't much better than N64. Mm. There is apparently a memory leak, so... In the game, so... I'm getting a phone call! Guard has been dealt with, good job. I mean, he wasn't really a guard, he was a... He was a tutor. Uh, right, yes, yes. Hey, guess what? We've got to do the same mechanic we've done three times already. Ring the bell. Defeat the team. My eyes are troubling. Oh, I'm a demon child, Ed. I am a demon child. <laughs> but they're, they're one of the preset eyes. I don't understand <laughs> why they put these eyes in. Uh, right, we're going to put Brian up front. Um... I think it doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to keep those two. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go heal quickly, because I can't remember if I've healed. If it heals me or not. What does memory leak actually mean? Um... So, normally in a, uh, in, in any, like, code, there's a underlying process that will clean up the memory it's using. So, let's say a Pokemon is an object in the world. If I defeat that object, it should get removed from the world. Now, visually, it does do that, but it should also, there should be what is called the garbage collection. That should then tidy it up. It should free up the memory to be used. When the, uh, when there's a leak of sorts, it can be that they don't get cleaned up very well, or at all, and then the memory usage just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, which obviously chucks the machine, uses up all the memory, it slows things down, the 
software is trying to keep um, keep up with various, uh, you know, all, all the things in the world and all the things that no longer exist because it still thinks they're there. There's no cleanup, basically. That's one of one of the things. Same with textures as well. So textures are being loaded in into memory for the area I'm in. So like the snow and that. But then if I left the snowy area, there's no need for me to have the snow texture anymore. Uh, same with draw distance as well. So you'd have the, like the, the less detailed stuff in distance but if i went towards it then it would load in the detailed stuff and then if i move back away from it it should no longer need that detailed stuff so that should be freed up in memory memory leak is just the memory growing it's not being cleaned up the easiest usually the easiest bug to spot what i don't understand is most languages runtimes all these things have garbage collection built into them these days so so it sounds like like certain things are not being marked as destroyed properly. So like a Pokemon, an entity in the world, once it's no longer used, should be marked as destroyed. You know, no longer need. It's it's there for the, the underlying. And this is something you don't program these days anymore. Garbage collection is just a thing that happens. It should just go in and go. Ah, well that's been marked as no longer in use. I can get rid of that. And that just happens in the background. Might be good in old school C. Oh my god. Can we I wonder if I can find out what uh Pokemon Scarlet Uh Programming Language. Does anyone know? What engine is it using? I can't. It, there's no one knows. Could be a. It could be. They could have built an in-house engine on top of something else. But usually, if they build it on top of something else, it would still have the garbage collection. So. In this case, it's probably just bad development. Like, as you're developing something, as you're just running and testing these things, they would have all the dev tools up to see how much memory it's using, what's the processing you know, of, the, of the dev kit, which would be a switch. What's all this stuff doing? How can they optimize it? And they would have seen just memory, as Ed says, ballooning. It would just go bigger and bigger and bigger the more they played. So the fact they didn't catch it is <sighs> shocking. But then it's also the community that says there's clearly a memory leak. That might not be true. There might not actually be a memory leak as such. It might just be the way they're trying to optimize certain things like textures and things and it might just be badly programmed. Which is coming across like a memory leak. Possibly, but it you know, it might just be the way they're handling textures. We don't know. Because they are extremely quiet. But hey, there's a patch coming in, uh, in February. Who knows what I'll do? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I can't find... I can't see what... Um, I literally cannot see what language it's coded in, which is interesting. I'm sure patch will resolve all the issues. Oh yeah, and adding all the missing features as well, Ed. Yeah, yeah. Um, if I, well, they say that it's going to be patched, and then it will have the Pokemon Home connectivity. That's the only thing I'm expecting from that patch. But I think they'll be absolutely um, roasted if. They say, hey, we've got DLC on the way. 
and they don't fix the current issues. <laughs> I've tidied enough for me to sit on my desk chair. Weird how much I miss sitting in it. Oh, it's kind of nice. Um, right, Brighton's up front, ready to go. Let's go. Are you ready? Yep. Do it. Ding ding! Pokemon has a weird pseudo monopoly. Yep, people will always buy it no matter how bad it is. Every Pokemon game, um, they want to get the uh, exclusives, they want to get the shinies, they want to get. And, 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 it's, and, and it's no different from an NFT sort of thing. You're paying for a digital thing which makes no difference, but has a pseudo uh, value to it. <laughs> but then again, I do this. I love Pokemon and I want to, you know, I want to catch them all. I want to have every single version of every Pokemon. I want to get all the shinies because it's nice. It's a, it's, it's, I mean, it's no different collecting stamps when you think about it. Don't make that association appear. I mean, it's. Not, I mean, the the card, um, the card, the uh, trading card game is worse, Joe. Pokemon itself, yes, it is all digital stuff, and you. Because if you really cared that much about getting everything, you could lit. You could use the um, the hack software and and just spawn in all the hacked Pokemon, and you can do it in such a way that they can't detect that it's hacked. Because you can make them all legitimate. You could do it in in a legitimate way. Because uh, all data, you could do it in and spoof it in such a way. As long as you don't do something stupid like get a shiny Pokemon that doesn't exist yet, or a legendary with a, a move set which it's impossible to get. Unless you do that, I mean, if you want to collect them, you could do it that way. I mean, you could do. It. I'm not saying you should. People do it though, and if you do with the trades in this game, you'll get loads of those hacked Pokemon. But people do it in stupid ways. If you wanted to do it legitimately, you could do it that way. But the trading card game, holy hell, that's an artificial. Uh, that is that is such an artificial market that makes no sense. You're playing, you're paying for a piece of card. You're, you're, it's just ah, uh, that in its sense in itself is very NFT like. But you have a physical thing at least, which is nice. But people don't use it. It's so stupid. Oh god. Let's not let's not think about these things, eh? Let's defeat some Pokemon. Straight, I like the fact you can play millions for one bit of card just because it's it's rare. It's not. Oh god, the game's chugging. Oh, it doesn't like this bit. Go, Brian, go. Save us from the chug. Get us back those frames, quick. They should have expanded this. They should have had like each base have its own slightly different gimmick on these um, open world sort of things. That's my opinion on this mechanic. I like it. It's a good mechanic. It, ma it makes you use a feature you may never use. But God, they should have uh, expanded on it more. Very hard to keep Pokemon legit with Nintendo's nine. Oh yeah. Here we go. It's Ortega. Huh, so you're Paul. Okay. Talk about underwhelming, bitch. Oh, 
Oh, burn. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Bitch, have you seen my Pokemon? Brian will fuck you up. <laughs> don't care who you are, not like I'm going to lose you anyway. You think fairy types are all about cuteness? You're in for a nice surprise. Who do you think my Pokemon are all about? Cuteness. Have you looked in my eyes? I am, I am clearly the evil villain of the story. I love the fact they all have their own, um, they use the certain type of Pokeball. Yes, Brian. Come on, Brian. You got this. You got this. Brian will fuck you up. He will. Look at him. Her, technically. But that's... Fledge wave. Maybe I shouldn't have started with Brian. All right. Maybe I shouldn't have started with Brian. Brian, no! <laughs> oh, right, here we go. Ryan. Banksy. F for Brian. It's alright, Brian will come back. Nice. Fuck me, Aqua Tail is. That's a. That's a. Ooh, that's a strong move. Go on, get lost. Wiggly tough. I'm going to use Dirt Croc Revive Brian. Yeah, let's do a let's do a revive. We got max revives. No, good stuff. Let's get Brian back in the game. Banging chewing in the background. Lol. Not very fair. Oh, that was a crit as well. I didn't really do anything, did it? Brian will not F you up. Brian got F'd up. It's alright, Brian's coming back. A dash bun? Uh... Gonna keep Dirt Croc out and do some healing. Only because these fights tend to go a little bit south um, sometimes. Oh, cheeky, cheeky. Oh no, you might have... Oh shit. Dashbun's ability. Don't. Yeah. Fucking knew it. Well baked. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, let's get Banksy back out. You thought I was Neo for a bit. Oh, 
probably sleep on the bed. Poison jab. No, no poison. Oof. Can I do a U-turn, please? I reckon Brian can, can withstand one one crunch. We taste this slick move. Lol. Not very effective. Get Brian up to full strength. Baby doll eyes. Oh, his attack fell. Um, well. Fuck you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Told you Brian would fuck you up. It's Reva Room! Time to fight a literal car. Misty Surge? Oh no. Right, do a yawn. I can't remember if yawn works on these. Mist disappeared. Oh, what? No. It's an effect. God damn it. Ugh. Sludge wave. Confuse Ray? Oh, you bastard. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. No! Time to fight engine versus engine. Let's do a let's do a setup. Oh, not liking the confusion. Do it. One shot in. Come on, let's try and one shot in. I love how it's just a, an axe as a hat. Don't be confused. Come on. Yes. Fucking hell, this guy's got high defense. Not very effective. That was a crit as well. Come on. Come on, keep going, keep going. Don't be confused. Yes! One more time. Snap that out of confusion! Nailed him. I'm confused too. <laughs> uh, Pokemon's very confusing sometimes.
Well, that was difficult. Not. How could I lose? What the heck? Oh, flashback. What a year and a half ago. Your talk toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile. I was up all night building it. Problem is clearly we're not giving it enough juice. We designed this thing to be powered by two charcade. But it's just too heavy. Such a shame. We want to see the looks of the bullies' faces once we get moving. <laughs> Tis no occasion for melancholy. I uh, to guess why. Talk normally. <laughs> There's no point if it doesn't work. If I knew all that effort would have zero payout, I'd have just... I'd have just asked Mother to buy a car for us. Mother?! This is why people don't take you seriously. You say some, some stupid things, you know that. Rude. Yeah, how about no? <laughs> how about freaking no? How about freaking no? When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents, our bags of cash to fix our problems. Uh, money, money can fix many problems though. If that hunger junk doesn't move, get it moving. I'm short on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. Maybe evolving them would help? I'm gonna train up my trucker and have him evolve. There you go. Have it uh, moving in no time. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. We'll get it done. Right, okay, cool. Love a little bit of backstory. Sucks. I hate myself for losing. Because I can't get over how, how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to sit down. Going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. I don't understand this part either. It's more like actual guidelines to a code. Uh, not like I have a choice anyway. Take the badge. Could you just all stop being dicks? How about that? Just throw it out there. You could you could just stop being absolute twats. You have become the very thing that you swore to defeat. Not done yet. Here's my favorite TM. Hey, I don't think you actually used it. And just so you know, you are the worst. Most annoying person ever. But I get it, you're super strong, I mean it. I'll admit that much. I did break up his Starmobile. Young Master Ortega! Mr. Harrington. Guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title. Oh wait, that's the other person talking. As it happens, it's... <laughs> Actually, a different matter is brought to me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. Is it Clive? He's a distant acquaintance of mine. It's regular student Clive. <laughs> Nothing suspicious here. I want to tell you something. I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel uh, company. Why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you just met. <laughs> I agree. My answer is the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. The academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? School is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. So why not go back to the fucking academy and do your learning, you stupid twerp? As former director of the academy, I believe I am in a position to answer that. 
About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them. It's not bad. Altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate to a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of... Basically... The original members of Team Star, not the little grunts that you see joining and walking around and being absolute fucking wankers. Um, the, the bosses all joined together to team up against the bullies. The bullies got scared, didn't even bother fighting back and ran off. Um, but of course, we can't have that sort of thing happen in a school. As a result of the occurred that day, the students who had uh, perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy. There aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy! No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all the records of the incident, you see. Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with the team star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. <gasps> this student declared that they would take all the responsibility. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star. No one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then they assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility. <gasps> but that would leave it to... They came back just now. <gasps> You're in half of studying abroad. It's not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were victims, after all. They just, they, yeah, they just took it a bit too far. Then, for some bloody reason, they decided to not go to school anymore. This story's a little weird. I mean, they had the right idea, and then it just got out of hand, I guess. I wanted this student to take some time to rest, and then return home to the Galar region. Hey, that's Gen 8. And then a pretext of over, over, the overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took upon himself to erase all traces. I don't understand this deputy director thing. I don't think we actually hear about them ever again. Uh, so they deleted all the information. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. Tried to cover up the whole thing. That's terrible. After we discovered what had been done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course, by killing him. I don't know, probably, but, uh... but the uh, inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. Their, their security system, uh, the, 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 basically the data recovery and um, clear. So, so not only did the guy delete all the records, but they were under, uh, they were unable to retur retrieve the data recovery. So there's a security issue there. There's a data recovery issue there. Um, yeah, you can't. You, mm, it's not great, is it? So he resigned, and everyone, everyone on the teaching staff also joined, also resigned <laughs> because of a data um, recovery issue. It's a fun story. School denies that bullying is a problem. Kids leave school. Yeah, but they dealt with the bullying situation. All the bullies left, so I don't understand. And I understand the whole, you know, rogue person deleting stuff and all the teachers leaving, but the. Team Star bosses could have just gone back to school. Problem solved. They were no longer in trouble. There was no longer any bullies. There was no, even no evidence of anything going on. But yet, they started teams, and then bullies joined them, and then bullies are now back in school, and they're under the um, guise of Team Star. So, all went a bit wrong. Can't let the boss down. What do you mean the boss they've never met? In person. Ever. I don't even know the name of. So that's why the current teachers are all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. My sincere apologies. Hang on. How can you suddenly decide to talk about this now? The team Star cannot carry on with its current fashion. I merely wish to give you the chance to chart a better course. There's no way I'm abandoning my friends, going to school without them. Why? <laughs> oh, he's going to say the word treasure. There it is. That's the other theme of this. Um, 
the whole theme of the uh, the academy is finding your treasure, and you can find it in many places. So that was interesting. That's Mr. Boss to you, or Mrs. Boss, or something. Yes, we don't know. Hey, it's Cassiopeia. It's me. Take it to Ortega, hand it over the star badge. Yep. I see. With this boss no longer around, squad is good finished. Yep. One boss left. The operation has been a huge success. And Clive has also performed admirably. <laughs> Have you known each other long? Oh no, I've got low battery on my. Uh... Hopefully this will work. Oh, oh, oh! Nope, that's plugged into the computer. That's not good. How about this cable? Cannot tell. Um, uh, yeah, I've known him for a while now. Yeah, sure. We're best friends, me and Clive. With the creepy eyes and no talking, I think you actually might be an android. Maybe you're the first iteration of Commander Data. Maybe. Maybe indeed. I'm not... What, me? I'm an android. How dare you? I'm clearly not a robot and think in logical terms all the time. Uh, he almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Back in the day? Huh? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming a team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted the bullies head on. The outcome was resigning victory. Well, you could hardly sit, call it a contest. The police didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from the battle, first chance they got. Because bullies are ultimately, um, probably quite wimpish. They, you know, they put on a front. Classic android defense. How dare you. Well, these events dropped out of school, and Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But then they carried on as the villains. I don't understand that. Oh, this isn't charging. Um, uh, <laughs> huh. Hmm. I need the cable. Hmm. Okay. This cable. There we go. This one. This one. I'm going to have to redo my cable management anyway. Right. That should now be charging. It is. Good. But neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Sure. Okay. Let's forget all the backstory to this story. How about your reward? Thank you. 10,000 LP! You can now make more TMs. That's sweet. And hey, it's Penny! Oh no. Oh no. Stay in the Pokeball for once, you! Don't lick her. Oh my god. 
My Pokemon assaulted Penny again. Don't go around licking people without their permission. That's the, um, the lesson there. If even just one of them had been paying attention, yeah. If, if the student, if the teachers weren't useless and were paying attention to the situation, the whole bully situation wouldn't have happened. Well, it would have, it would have been able to be, you know, resolved better. Next boss is the last one. Right. So. We need to go to a Pokemon Center. But the next thing to do is... Dun, 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 the Dragon Titan. So let's go here. Alright, we'll heal up, and then I need to think of what Pokemon we want in our team for this. Right, okay, what Pokemon have I got? Um, if it's dragon, then we need fairy. So you're good. Brian's out. I think Derbcock's gonna be out. I'm gonna keep lucky, keep bonk hammer, there we go. Um, you You're out. I'm gonna put in um Disappointed, because Disappointed has fairy move, but also the OP grass move. Might need some leveling up. Um Ice is good against Dra and also he's Dragon as well, so he's, he's going to be weak to it, but he'll also be strong for it. So let's bring in Reptar. Um, off the top of my head, the Titan is also Water, so we're going to put Disappointed in. No, Pikachu, I was, sorry. Pikachu, I was going in. Uh, your fire... Um, Chunky's not great. Hmm. <sighs> Should we go with Scrooge? Let's go Scrooge for now. Alright, we need to do some leveling up. So, uh, you'll need to be leveled up. What's that noise? Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Ah, Terra Orbs charge. Good, good, good. So, we should be over in this direction somewhere. So we're just going to yeet ourselves off here. Can you, can you jump? Can you... Can we jump? Thank you. Yeet! Go to that tower. Oh, there's a second tower over there. What do I have that one yet? 
Heavily fine. <laughs> All right. Um, skunky boys. Pizza. Oh no. We might need to level up first. How the fuck? All right, they are way under level. This ain't good. Um, Scrooge, you get in there. Oh my god, you run so stupidly. Oh my god, how is everyone being defeated? What level are you? 52? There we go, there we go. That side of the king. Right for me now. Um, oh, f um, disappointed. Very disappointed. Fine, I'll talk to you. Hoo ha! Hoo ha! There are hairs, truly really fine. Breathe deep. Jose! Fight ops. Play rough. Oh, what level is it? Fifty three. Oof. We have to do some. Serious, uh, serious training, I think. I'm pretty sure the Titan is level 52 off the top of my head. It's definitely above 50. About to use Haunch Crow. Yeah, we'll switch to. Get some, let's get some Pikachu out. Please be paralyzed. Nasty plot. Oh, Come on, kill him. Kill him in one go. Oh, no. Foul play. Mm. All right, all right. Good levels, good levels. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to slowly level, I guess. Go defeat that. Thank you. I need to find somewhere I can heal, I guess, is the next point of call. Oh, look at all the slow folks. Not good. That was a mistake. Um, I don't know if there's anyone who can heal me in this area. This lake area is kind of annoying because there isn't a Pokemon Center or anything nearby. Um, I 
maybe on this route there might be a needy person. Let's go to this tower, I guess. She goes to the towers, get the uh, fly point. Oh, maybe on this road. Is there someone with a picnic? That's where we want to train. Hey, trainer. Synergize. Oh, God, he's using... Um, he's using marketing uh, speech. Gotta, gotta synergize that backwards overflow. Wait, that's not right. <laughs> Reverse the polarity. Tabuki, hello. <laughs> We should be doing mega kicks. Whirlpools. Gonna be trapped in a vortex. Yep. Oh, don't you miss? Oh. You thought that was a Pokemon in a hot dog costume? No, no, he's got a um, uh, a life. For preserving sort of ring around him, I guess. Scrooge got fucked up. Mustard, clearly. <laughs> it's, mustard. it's just um, tails from Sonic. Um, clearly, because of the tails. Uh, but he's wearing like a, a wetsuit. It's just, you know, he's, he's got like fins and stuff on. Ha! You missed! Oof! Bad experience. Nice. We need to cycle back on this. Will you shut up about your stupid... Um... Project management speak. Let's put Reptile up front. Reptile needs some. Yes! Perfect! Someone I can I can heal with. Hello, enjoy picnicking. Yes, please. Ooh! Sushi sandwiches! Oh. Oh. Is sushi is sushi a sandwich? Right, let's do let's see if I can get some cheeky cheeky things. Oh, that's lucky. Oh yes. Oh brilliant. Let's get all the gold ducks. Fuck the no! Kill it! Kill kill it quick! You stupid rat! Oh Right. Oh. Oh. That really wasn't worth it, was it? Kill it. Oh my god. You that weak? Fine, I'll fuck it up myself. Sushi by the seashore. There's a... There's a tongue twister. Right, we're gonna do this battle and then I'm gonna make um, another drink. Because I've had some bad coffees today, so I want a good coffee. Or well, at least attempt a good coffee. Slowpoke tried to heal me. What? Did I hear that correctly?
Spring, sprinkles magical spring water in Paul's coffee. Oh man, that would be nice. Gonna head out. Thank you for the good times as always. No problem, Joe. No problem. Have some milk. He needs some milk. I've teleported. What the? Have a good uh, weekend, resty weekend, Joe. I believe you're streaming later. Uh, as you usually do. Everyone go check out Joe. If you're not checking out Joe already. Attack! Oh, he wants to learn something. Entertainment. What's entertainment? I don't know. This certainly isn't entertaining. You just dances with an odd rhythm that compels the target to mimic it, making the target's ability the same as the user's. Oh, no, I don't want that. That seems like a bad one. Can you defeat this slowpoke? No. And you defeat this fucking Vaporeon. No, no. Yeah, boy. Alright, heal me, my man. Arthur, oh, no, this is Dratini. I don't want that. I don't. No, no. Heal me, my man. Give me your sandwich. Thank you. Duh. Fuck you, a quick one. Can I just say that gold looks like fucking terrifying in 3D? Look, look at it. Terrifying. Come on now. Oh, three levels up. Four levels up. Fuck the slow poke. It's fuck the slow poke. I know I said we were going to do some uh, coffee, but um, I forgot. Because my brain is like that. Uh, literally. Well, that was easy. Gold ducks are clearly where it's at. They're the ones that we gain lots of experience from. Right. Got to pause. We're actually going to save. False Dragon is probably my favourite. Oh, I yeah, no spoilers. But I have defeat. Obviously, I've done this in Violet, and then what's coming. But I do like what they did with this. Right, uh, we have healed. Are we? Are we? We're not really leveled up enough yet, are we? Let's keep going. What, wrong mamas got mom oh, sorry hold on let me let me type in chat that's that's the one I'm currently using oh let's start doing coffee pods what
Uh, the other one is packed coffee. Yeah, they. That's the one I used, used to be subscribed to. They're still good. That's the one the um, advent calendar was of. Anyway, let's carry on. I will be getting, um... The Top of the Morning Coffee. That's the one. Top of the morning coffee. I'll be, I'll be getting a bag of that. Um, they apparently have some new products coming out, and I want to maybe do a larger order. So I'm gonna wait, wait for that to happen. Plus, I've got a load of coffee to get through anyway, so it's it's you know I've got time. I've got time. Anyway, Remus, how's it going? How is your weekend? Nice. Sweet. Fuck up the slow bro, so poke. This is going to take a lot of grinding, come on. Clearly the uh, gold ducks are where it's at. That is who we should be defeating right now. Come on. Why isn't the Why don't you like defeating the slowpokes? Oh. Come on, get going. This guy, this guy here. What? Oh God! Battling in water is so weird in this. One. Slow pokes are annoying. I wonder if Tr Dratini is any good. Mm, not much, not much experience there. What about, uh, what well, I can't remember your name. A Glulula. A Kula. Nope. Either. Ooh. No. I mean, it was clip. Way, what is that? Kill it! Don Dozo! Also, why are you not in the water? 
Hello? Let's go for a little swim, I guess. He was thunder in the water, instant one mil XP. <laughs> if only. Can we defeat little fishy boy? No, can't defeat fishy boy. Oh god, I forgot how much this area of the map chugs. No! Oh, you bastard. For losers are, are just a pain. Absolute pain. They're super fast and they charge straight for you. I think I'm getting a solid 10 frames a second here. Speedo. Reptile wants to learn takedown. Uh, maybe. I don't know what your moveset is right now. Mm, I am okay with what you have. There we go. Ah, oh, we lost big boy. No. Oh. Oh, we met we hit the cutscene. Hey, it's Arvin. So rumor has it false dragon titan looks somewhere in this lake. But not a single person has ever caught a glimpse of it. Must be some kind of truly terrifying beast. But how are we supposed to search for a thing where we don't even know what it looks like? Sure would be handy if it just ran around crying, I'm the Titan or something. If only, right? If only it did that. If only. Does it? It does. It does actually do that. Do we go find it? I'll go find it. Crunch, no. Fishy boy. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, this is a problem. Now take a nap. Take care. Have a good nap. Have a good nap. Oh. Time we switch out. I wonder why they decided that some Pokemon can't swim and have to stand. Order up. <laughs> he flung some sushi at me.
The Dundozo fainted. Oh. Big Drawers learnt a new move. Close combat. Um, yes, I think I'll use. We'll do close combat. Um, oh. You know what? I'm, I'm getting rid of Revival Blessing, right? Because my theory is it's the same as the Revive. It does exactly the same thing. Half the, half the HP, it takes up a move. It does the same thing as a Revive. So why bother having it if I've got plenty of Revives? Which I do. Revives are easy. It's a cool move. But, why bother? Was that a mistake? I don't think that was a mistake. Oh, oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Come on. There we go. What the? Tashi? Tashi. She, 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 she. All these things are talking. Sutan. Tai, Tai. Sutan. Su, su, su. She's, she's something. Sutan. We're all talking, guys. The talking Pokemon. She, she, she. Tai, Tai. Sushi. All these Pokemon can talk. That's weird. Because the anime is not correct, Pokemon do not say their name. Ever. They only did that for the anime and kids. So the fact that this, these are saying their names is weird. Wait, hold on a minute. Come on. One seems bigger. <gasps> Titan! <gasps> oh. Pour one out for Revival Blessing. You can come back whenever you want, that's true. Can't, still can't get over how they made a sushi Pokemon. And they gave it three form. <laughs> so it's three sushi. <laughs> hey look, it's a Titan! I'm not ready to battle it yet. There's no way I'm ready to battle that yet. <laughs> nope, no three. Um, where was the? It's over there, isn't it? The healing place. <gasps> Let's defeat some water Pokemon. Tiny Titan. I mean, he's twice the size of all the others, so. Come here and defeat this guy. Come here and defeat this guy. Come here and defeat this guy. Come on. Oh, what? Really? Look, he may be 10 levels higher than you. 8 levels higher. But I reckon you're gonna absolutely fuck him up. Oh, you don't have many sparks left. We need to go heal. In retrospect, he's the biggest ball of Suhi. He certainly is. Mash. Final spark. Good XP. I'm gonna try and get to land without being attacked. Oh my god, the frames! Ooh! Oh, that was lucky. Fucking balloozers. Oh, 
And I find when you're flying, you just bounce off Pokemon instead of battling them. The like frame rate. I didn't get this actually in the Violet. It's it was never this bad. Weird. But then I was playing in handheld mode again, so maybe it's because it's docked. I don't play on in docked mode because I'm usually watching something on the TV. You think it was the patch they did? No, this was after the patch. Weird. It is weird. Go kill those. Come on now. Oh, he just escaped. Ah, oh, I didn't escape a second time. No, it's like some areas I just didn't have any issues at all. Boys, go! God damn it! Nope. <laughs> he didn't like that. You kill him. You know, all these guys' sandwiches. Duke is very yelly today. Is that a giant catfish? It is indeed. And he's not giant, he's normal. He's normal sized. No body shame. Ugh. Why can't you defeat this guy? Come on! Giant catfish and sushi Pokemon. Yep, sushi Pokemon. Yep. Targets very carefully. Vaporeon! Kill it! Kill the fucking Vaporeon! Yes. Oh! Oh, he's not happy. Oh, we'll go heal. And a swordfish. Are you talking about Valooza? Valooza not a swordfish. Where's the swordfish? What's the swordfish? I wouldn't say that Valooza was a swordfish unless it actually says it in the Pokedex. We'll see what type it says in Pokedex, shall we? I would say it's, um, ooh. Oh god, I can't remember the type. It's like a... It's, it's, it's very similar to Arrokuda, that's that's my, my reasoning there. Uh, if they were going to do a swordfish, they would have a very literal, like, blade on the, fa on the face or something, right? Where is it then? This thing. It's quite near the 
end, isn't it? Oh, wouldn't it be nice if I could search? There he is. All three of them. Oh, of course I can't. Yeah, I wouldn't say that's a sword. I would say that's um. Hmm. No. We have different forms. We got we got curly form. We got stretchy form. Barracuda, yeah. Piranha esque, mm, a little bit. I've got. Uh, oh, I haven't, I haven't defeated the other form yet. Oh. Right, we're going to get everyone to level 50. As a minimum. Oh, there's the other form. There he is. Add it to the Pokedex. I guess we're not going to complete star the Star Street stuff. The um, Operation Starfall. Go back on the open water and see what we can defeat. I was aiming at the big guy, but sure. <laughs> Surprise attack! Me win. Oh, fuck off. How do you not win that? It's a fish. The fish. How do you not win this battle? I don't understand some of those battle mechanics. You know what? I'm allowed to catch one of these. We can figure out what type it is. It's a new Pokemon. I'm allowed to catch it. Oh, the frames! How slow is that? Sorry, what? A Jettison Pokemon? When Veluza discards unnecessary flesh, its mind becomes honed and its psychic power <laughs> increases. Its bare flesh has a mild but delicate, delicious flavor. Oh my god. What the fuck? What nightmare is this? Man, that's how you fix a um, food shortage problem, isn't it? 
there's never a shortage of food in this uh, universe. Close. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Disappointed, learned something now. I know what that is. But he's not. Oh, mm. might have been worry seed. I don't know. Worry seed. I think it's worry seed. Not in order. Attack him. Another heal, and I think I think we're almost we're ready to take on the uh, Titan. I think we're ready. We're gonna put Bonk Hammer up front. I just hope that. Hope that Bonk Hammer can do a decent amount enough damage. They're a little bit over leveled, <laughs> but that's fine. Let's see if I can fly. We should just see if we can. Oh, I can't climb right. Oh, I can't climb yet. That's the whole point of doing this uh, Titan to learn the ability to climb. Oh, he's coming at me! Oh. Let me run away. Thank you. Right, you're ready for this. Titan time. <gasps> what? We were, we were, we were. We were deceived. Son of a bitch! Oh, damn it, I paralyzed. Great. Well. to switch out let's let's switch into uh, Pika Chihuahua it's not that was confusion oh you bastard don't hurt Oh no, no, I'm confused.
Come on. Don't, don't. Yes. There we go. Oof, that was a big one. Paralyzed. Can move because paralyzed. Oof. Do we risk it? Don't hurt. Yes, yes. Smashed it. We were like two HP off the this point. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh no, he's run away. Where's he running away to? Find him. Will do, after I heal. No, oh, I didn't want to fight. I wanted them. To... But let me jump. Come on. It is running so slow. Oh. Watch yourself. Right, I'm gonna put Pika up front. Because who knows, we might have to bounce something on the way. Stay away from those fast bastards. It might be good to just do this. There we go. Look at him go! can swim. So it's over in this direction he went. Wait a minute. You're not the big guy. Oh my god, they're a team. Did you find the Titan? I sure did, mate. So that's it. Sure is one big uh dra wait, is that even a dragon? Or is it a fish? It's definitely a fish. He just ate the Titan! The sushi guy got eaten by the Titan. Yeah. Didn't expect to see the food chain in action today. <laughs> Here we go. This food chain's gonna be pretty fascinated. Come on, bring your A game. Oh, he's paralyzed. Oh, yeah, straight off the bat. Interesting choice, Greedon. 
get in there. Skadoosh. Water pulse. Not even aiming at me. Perfect. Wow. Super effective. Ha! Ah, avoided the attack. Take down. Oh yeah, you get all the glory. Fuck off. Ugh, rude. Oh no! We did it! Now, Titan's care of care. Up next up is the menu is the Herbal Mystic. <gasps> Hmm? Little sushi guy escaped without becoming the thing's lunch? Titan. It's a double Titan feature! Who could have seen that coming? Uh, I'm gonna do a nuzzle. Because I'm probably gonna switch out. Oof. Oh god, that was so brutal. <laughs> do a close combat. Might as well try and do a decent amount of damage. There we go. We're gonna lose Pika on this one. Told ya. Let's bonk hammer to save the day. Insta kill. Tatsugiri was defeated. Nice. That's it. That is Titan number five done. Maybe Titan was both those Pokemon together. Some kind of combo meal. Maybe. Maybe indeed. If you look at the Pokedex, it actually says that um, they rely on each other. It's one of it's one of those where they've made the two Pokemon live in as a like a partnership. Symbiotic, that's the word I'm looking for. Because the um the big 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 boy is too dumb apparently, and the little sushi guy is super smart but not very powerful. So they work together. How goes it? We just defeated uh, the last Titan. And we're about to have some sweet herbs. This one's the spicy one. What does the book say? Spicy herb of Mystica is supposed to boost your metabolism. Gives your circulation a boost and helps flush out those toxins. It's chow time! Here we go. Arvin's chocolate full of cheer. Final herb uh, super sandwich. Squeezes badge tight. Thanks. I, I'm not sure if we want to eat that. <laughs> Judging by our faces. <laughs> Which means we're one badge away. Yes, yes, yes. You can have my sandwich. Wow. 
I shall share. Sweet herbs, man. That's spicy. You'll be able to climb vertical surfaces now. That's good. Yes. And now, finally, the big sweet doggo shall be healed. Gonna make you all better, I promise. Best story of the game. You can play with your favorite ball as much as you want. Arvin's story is it it's it's a lot. There's this part, and then there's the next part. <laughs> He's had it rough, let's put it that way. <laughs> He's had a rough life. We will, uh, we will obviously get to that in due time. You did your best, bud. He's okay. You have the exact same haircut. I mean, they often say dogs do uh, resemble their owners, but they do have the same color hair. Yes. Oh, a phone call at this emotional time. Ah, oh, it's his fucking mum. And of all, this is sort of. It seems like Koryan has regained all of its powers except the power to battle. It should now be able to climb up a ver any vertical surfaces and crabs. Oh, while well, it's right. In. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can climb stuff. I knew you were the right one to entrust it to. Listen to you. Like, you had anything to do with it. Yeah, to be fair, he gave me the Pokemon. It's got nothing to do with you. Alvin, you there? I've been searching so long for a way to reach you. He has a phone. Because no one else can get into my lab but you. Please take Paul back to the lighthouse with you, to the lab on Poker Path, and reach out once more when you arrive there. Ah, motherly love. <laughs> Woof. Got dialed. <laughs> I look like Neo? Eh, uh, probably. We have very similar hair. I guess you already know, but that's my mum. Always buried under her work, off pursuing her own research. Never at home with me. It's the first time I've even heard her voice in years, you know. Now what? First thing I get is to be treated like some kind of errand boy? She's seriously unbelievable. But I'm guessing you and Koryden probably want to go, eh? I feel like my blood's boiling, but sure, fine, I'll get you into the lab. What else could? I mean, you do owe me. Yep. Yeah. I'll meet you there.
Bye then. <laughs>have you been all this time? You know exactly where they've been. It's, it's drama for the sake of drama. Right. That is the Titan path. Pretty much complete. So we've got to go back here at some point. We've also got to do the Elite Four at some point. Um, but first, before we get there... We must take on the uh, fighting crew. Uh, which means we get, need to get to these Pokemon centers. Which means the easiest way to do that is... Oh. Uh, here. Go from here. Fight the fighting crew. Gonna beat them at their own game. Do a quick heal. We're gonna have to switch up our Pokemon, I think, again, to make sure that we got the right typings. Um, Fairy is again strong, so we'll, we'll be keeping Bonk Hammer for sure. So it's off in that direction with all the lights. But I guess I want to... I want to head towards this tower first. Oh, that's the wrong button ball. This tower! It's over in that direction. Oh, maybe it wasn't towards that, those lights. So those lights are a different thing? Oh, no, it's not, though. That's the city. But we're in this direction. Arvin's my favourite storyline, too. Uh, number one is alright. Certainly better than bloody... The last game's rival. Jesus Christ. Although this ending bit is a little... Like, the whole Elite Four is... Well, no, actually, no. I'm going to say uh, Greta is just not... I don't, I'm not a big fan of Greta. <laughs> it's supposed to be champion, and she's a bit meh. Top champion, and she's a bit meh. Right, and then we can just yeet ourselves off here. I didn't like Hop. Oh, man. I loved it every time he realised I knew how to use typings. Right, we are here. Then we, we're gonna go to the other Pokemon Center and then I'll probably end it for today. We'll need to do some training around here, rejig our team. Um, but yeah, good progress today, good progress. This isn't where I need to go. I need to go in that direction. Luckily, I can climb things now. But what about Barry from Gen 4? I've never played Gen 4. It's on my list. I have it. Oh, wait. Have I gone the wrong... I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> Maybe I should use the map. I want to go in this direction. So I need to go ah, south and around. That's where we need to go. South and... Piss off. 
He was the most annoying. Mm. I didn't even see you. Come battle you in a minute. We'll battle you next time, actually. I just want to get to this Pokemon Center. I really like this region, the bamboo bit. It's cool. To the Pokemon Center! Oh, I saw a shiny. It was not a shiny. You like the different terrain region, the bamboo shoots, the olive grove. Yeah, I really like like the various um, sort of regions they've done. Bamboo, the the uh, the painting one with in the forest, the dark forest. They've done some really good ones. What else is really good? Um, yeah, that one's good. I like the, the height differences in this area, like the, and there's tunnels and stuff. That's really cool. Haven't really been to Swamp much. I, they could have made that bigger, I think. The massive cave was pretty cool. And then you've got this area, which we haven't been to in this game, but that's really cool. Anyway, let me uh, let me do a heal, and I think we're going to end it here. So next week we take on the fighting crew, and then um, then I think we've got the three fight. Well, we've got the elite four, which I'm probably going to do first. Actually, we'll do yeah, we'll do elite four. And then we got the three final battles, basically of the three routes. And then it's end game. Well, actually, you know that's technically the end of the game. No, it's not. The credits roll after that. Um, then it's the end game, and then there's post end game. We're quite far off the uh, <laughs> the credits still. All right. Save. I think we're going to have to be around 55 to 58 for this next bit, so uh, we'll have to do a little bit of training.